In the last video I showed you how to make this packet stacker and in this video I'm going to start right out by explaining why it sucks and I hate it now. Uh, so um, I did, I spent like a whole day sciencing this stacker part of it with all the bridges and seeing if there was an efficient way to 100% reliably stack packets together um, so that I could feed them to the valve thing and uh, these nice full bubbles would come out. And uh, it's hard, I'm going to have basically an impossible time expressing all the things that I learned about it, but at this time I believe it's not possible. Uh, you can make them work pretty good, like this one works pretty good, but you can't make them 100% reliable. There's always some pattern or sequence of bubbles going into the device that's going to mess up the stacker and make it fail. Alright, we've got to get rid of We've got to get rid of the stacker altogether. And I don't know, when I'm sciencing, I'm not interested in good enough. I'm interested in really understanding how things work. So even though I hate using reservoirs because, you know, for something like this, because it's a giant building, let's try the reservoirs, right? So I, uh, it doesn't take long to realize that you need more than one um, because you have two inputs. You have the main the main input that you're you're stacking, and then you also have the the return tube. Like if the input that you're stacking, if this pipe is full packets of elements, then you can't monopolize the input on one reservoir uh, to stack them together. So you can't be blocking these things, and so you need two to begin with. But when you connect their outputs together, and I'm not sure, like I have one input to the valve, and maybe there's some magic that can be done with two, like another valve, but I don't I don't think it fixes the problem. I think you just end up with a lot more stuff that has kind of the same problem. So um, when, you, when you stick the inputs together, you're like, oh, I'll just make them ratchet together, and they won't come out of the, the reservoirs as fast, but you know, when the reservoirs get full enough, that'll be okay because they'll all be, you know, full packets and go through the valve and get filtered out and everything will work. Um, so I'm like, yeah, we'll just stick these, stick these uh, pipes on the inputs and, and let it do that. And well, that doesn't work because, <laughs> because this, um, this reservoir might be getting lots of gases from this pipe and this reservoir is going to get very little and pretty soon this reservoir will be full but since it's ratcheting together with that one and the output up from the reservoirs into the valve um, it won't be able to get more gases in there I'm like all right yeah that's that's a mess like I tried to deal with that but it it's really a mess and I, I don't think there's a good way to do it so I'm like so the only way to really do this I'm gonna make make myself some space here So I'm like, all right, so I'm going to force this to work anyways, even though it's already becoming fairly impractical. And um, I'll just have to break these pipes up into two pipes each. And then I'll have these pipes ratchet together and go into that reservoir. And I'll have these pipes ratchet together and go into, oh, that's convenient, that reservoir. And um, that way it'll be divided up evenly, right? And uh, and even though this thing's starting to look really ugly, it should work this way. All right, so we should start getting a full pipe of input over here. So this all looks pretty good so far. But if you, you know, if you turn up, if you turn up the input speed, and uh, I mean, obviously you don't have to stack packets when it's a full pipe, but uh, you know, it should not, you know, break everything when it is a full pipe. It should continue working, right? Um, you'll see an interesting thing happens. So I'm still getting small little packets out of the reservoir. What's happening is like because of the pattern of elements that's coming in the main pipe, like this reservoir is getting nothing but chlorine and natural gas from that. And the other reservoir is getting nothing but hydrogen and oxygen. So this one is mainly, this reservoir is mainly filling up with chlorine and natural gas. But it, every now and then it gets one of these little bubbles that's not chlorine and natural gas from the, the uh, what did I call these things? The remainders, from the remainders um, out of the valve. And those little remainders are coming out um, either from, like there's one, hydrogen, right? And another, there's one, there's another one, there's another one. And so you can always, you can always break this with just the right pattern of gases going in. So this doesn't work either. And I'm not, maybe there's a way to fix it, but it's already like untenable. I, I think that just having the reservoirs out here, or one reservoir, 
reservoir is like a, a slight on the decency of the world <laughs> because they're huge and I just all I want to do is stack gases in a pipe I don't want to have to make a whole facility for it right it's one pipe anyway it's too much and uh, even though I really like my valve thing and by the way I figured out how to get that that last gram how to merge together that last gram there so that I get 1,000 gram output bubbles instead of 999 gram output bubbles. But um, I'm not going to show you that because I just I just don't think this is the right solution. And uh, I changed my mind. And everybody who says I'm dumb, I guess I guess you were right this time. <laughs> I don't think it's the right way to go. As neat as my valve is, which I love very much. Uh, so let's, so instead I'm just going to show you, I'm going to show you the other one, but I kind of mentioned it in the last video. Let's delete everything. Ah, oh, get rid of that. Ah, it makes me feel good. I'm messing with that thing so much. So the thing I was showing you in the last video, um, that I'm referencing now is the one where it's just a gas shut off and a gas valve. Stack, you know, a single element in a pipe. And the idea now is I'm going to demonstrate how to, um, generalize it to do multiple elements in a pipe, how to extend it. So it looks like this when it's working. Uh, this little buffer fills up with natural gas, and when it gets full, the uh, the shutoff can no longer move the bubbles from the bottom pipe to the top pipe, and they get through. And of course, those bubbles are, are maxed out at 1,000 grams because they are immediately being filled up to 1,000 grams by the valve right before they get to the shutoff. That's all there is to it. So you can generalize this to deal with a... Uh, multiple multiple elements and it's actually you could leave it exactly like it is and just um, put a bridge in here for flow control and then put another one in exactly the same with a shutoff and a valve oh and, and that works that works fine as long as you load up the little buffer space like this one has natural gas in it here if you were to say load, preload this one with just oxygen, then this one would do natural gas and this one would just do oxygen. I will, I'm going to do that real quick since I see I've got some chlorine over there that's easy to access. So there's the chlorine. I don't want, don't want anything getting in there. Oh no. Oh no, that's fine. Okay, good. There's the chlorine and I'm going to connect some power to that thing. Um, automation. There we go. All right, so once that's once that's all full of chlorine, there we go. It seems to be working. Then I'll I'll cut off that chlorine supply. Got to make sure the power stays connected. I'll tell, talk about that in a second. And uh, I'm pretty sure that will work for compressing both chlorine and natural gas. I got to connect the chlorine to our input pipe. There we go. So we'll see um, the natural gas is getting stacked by this one as it comes down the pipe, and the chlorine is getting stacked by that one as it comes down the pipe. And that looks really great, and it is really great. But, uh, well, first of all, it's really it's usually really obnoxious to have to preload gases and this kind of stuff. Uh, it's just it's a lot of work. If you only had to do it once, I guess that's no big deal. The problem is, is if the power goes out for, like, just one second, then this all breaks and you have to get the gases out and preload it again. And I'm not, I'm not good enough to <laughs> talk like, oh, my power never goes out. So uh, I don't, I don't think that's a good way to go. Uh, so I think uh, if you're going to set it up like this, probably the best thing to do is to make these preload themselves by using a, a gas element sensor. So if you just drop a, a gas pipe element sensor and let that control the, the gas shut off and Everybody's seen this kind of filter before. Maybe. If not, then you're learning something. Then the, uh, we'll set that to natural gas. There we go. Then the, now we can put the valve. Well, we can put a valve right here, and I'll tell you why that's not enough in a minute. And then the uh, the element sensor turns on the valve, the shutoff at just the right time, so that it only picks up uh, natural gas bubbles. And uh, so when a full one comes through, it lets the full one down the pipe, and we have successfully stacked the natural gas. Uh, the problem with this is if I'm going to turn off the chlorine to demonstrate. Um, the reason one valve isn't enough is because since these aren't right next to each other anymore, there's this 
a, let's call it kind of a delay for, see now we're getting small bubbles that aren't stacked, right? What, what's happening is um, just the sort of the timing of how the natural gas moves through the top buffer and how it moves across the bottom buffer makes it so that sometimes um, you, you get a smaller bubble. It, it escapes. It doesn't quite catch it. And the way to fix that is uh, just add another gas valve. And I know this thing is getting bigger, but I guess this is my favorite way now. Um, if you add another gas valve, then that doesn't happen anymore. Once you have two gas valves, you can make this pipe as long as you want and wind it anywhere you like and it will still work. Now that we have that figured out, all we need is a bunch of these on the same pipe in order to uh, in order to stack all the packets for all of the elements we want. And one of the things that I don't like about this is that you have to set it up again for every every element you want to handle. What are we, what are we working with? Chlorine? Chlorine. There we go. And now that one will ha this one will handle the stacking the natural gas. That's a really big buffer for that. And this one will handle stacking the chlorine. And everything should be good in the world, and we'll get nothing but full packets coming out this side. You could set it up just like this, just have a bunch of these little devices all in the same pipe. Works great. Um, another way, another option, um, which gets harder to do the more uh, the more elements you want to handle, uh, but is pretty, but it looks pretty good to me if you have like you know four elements or something. I, I made that excessively long. I don't you don't need a serpentine that long. I'm just giving myself plenty of space. So let's say I want to sit handle four elements. Um, since I'm handling four elements, I need eight gas valves to put the gases back in the pipe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I also need four gas shutoffs. And you'll notice um, the reason why I'm putting all of the valves on the left and all of the shutoffs on the right is so that I can avoid having to have a bridge between each uh, between each stacker in order to for, in order for flow control, so the so that the the gas is always flow the same way and everything works. Um, those each need a gas pipe element sensor, and each of those shutoffs need to go to two valves. So this one goes to those two valves, and uh, this one goes to those two valves, this one can go to these two valves, and this one can go to these two valves. Uh, that was not too strenuous, actually. I, I, I don't really like doing it this way, but my god, that was so much easier than the other thing that I was doing, that's for sure. What did I get? Chlorine, oxygen, let's do natural gas, Natural gas. What was the, what's the last one that I've been working with? Hydrogen. Hydrogen. That should do it. And now each of those filters is going to filter out the stuff that it's selected for. I'm going to I'm going to connect the other two gas elements so that we can see them all working together. All those elements should come out stacked now. Of course, you have to wait for these buffers to fill up before you start getting getting stuff to come out. And um, I'm going to keep this video short because this isn't everybody's most favorite topic.